Um, if you wish to uh, change your plea to no contest, let us know. Um, otherwise, I will swear in Officer MacGyver and we'll proceed accordingly as, you, as we've seen in the last you know, several minutes. So what, yes. would like, what would you like to do, Mr. Jeffhart? Gary, I also have witnesses on the call with us. How do they get sworn in? Uh, same, as each witness identifies himself, I will swear them in. And that was, you said, now, Officer now, MacGyver? Let's, let's, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. You said Officer MacGyver? It's Officer MacGyver. Okay. So you wish to proceed? Yes, with the trial. All right, let me just pull up the citation. Officer, are you ready to proceed, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, if you could raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give is the truth? I do. Thank you. You may lower your hand and proceed whenever you're ready. Okay, this citation was written on May 22nd, 2023. Um, and I did cite the vehicle um, for no payment. Um, the exhibit A shows when you arrive at the parking lot, the sign, first sign you see is the pay on arrival. And straight ahead in the background is the area where it's posted how to pay and instructions and phone number if you need to um, contact someone for help. Mm -hmm. um, exhibit B is the rear of the vehicle, which also shows the pay here in the background. And exhibit C is when you walk to the beach, you um, will come upon come upon the sign that says beach and um, remember, please remember to pay for parking. On the left, there is a parking um, sign where you can still pay to park and it gives instructions on the sign. Exhibit D is the vehicle with the citation on the windshield and exhibit E is the license plate of the vehicle. Okay. Anything further, officer, or any further witnesses? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Mr. Gephardt, same, same, same instruction that I gave to Mr. Koshia. Um, if you have any questions for Officer MacGyver regarding the testimony she just gave, you are able to ask those questions now. It is, you're not ready for a defense yet. Do you have any questions for the officer? Yes. Okay, go ahead, sir. On the citation, it lists a lot, a lot, a lot. How many permanently installed signs and the physical size of that signage based on the devastation that that island incurred during the previous eight months? Because the witnesses that I'm going to- okay, okay, I'm going to interrupt you, Mr. Gephardt. One question, you're, you're, at, you're starting to go down after about three questions at once. Okay. One question. I had. I heard a question about how many signs are posted. Yes. How many permanently installed signs does the parking authority have certified that have been installed and survived when we were? Okay, that's two questions. But Officer MacGyver, I think you get the gist. If you're able to answer the question, go ahead. If not, that's fine. Can you give me a moment uh, for this particular parking lot? Um, there is a sign, as you see in Exhibit A, very large, I think it's probably five by five feet, if not bigger. Straight ahead is the pay here with signs posted around it and on it. Right. Then when you, when you go around to the back parking lot, there is signs as well. Um, and you cannot go out of the parking lot. There's, there's even if you went out the wrong way, there are signs posted at each of the exits. And like I said in that exhibit, re did you remember to pay along with another sign showing the QR code or you can text or you can um, go onto the website. The signage to the left of the vehicle where I was parked, you're referencing the five by five kiosk or where there was an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper stapled to a bulletin board as what is 
jumping out as a visitor to make that the acknowledgement of parking is needed on the island? Is that the sign you're referring to? So the sign, when you're looking at the back of your vehicle, that is almost like, I guess, to describe like a hut with a roof, which is fairly large, um, probably at least eight, nine foot. Um, don't know exactly the size, but that is, that's actually not the big sign. When you come in the pull into the parking lot, that would be the exhibit A and you can't miss that because that's the only way that you can get into the parking lot. And then when you get past that, you see the pay here station that's straight ahead. Then when you turned your vehicle to the left and park, you would have to exit the parking lot through either the entry or the exit and there's signs posted at each of those and assigned by the bathrooms as well. Any more questions, Mr. Gephardt? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, no? No. Okay, all right, thank you, sir. All right, now I'm gonna turn the case over to you for defense. Again, the burden of proof is on the state, so you're not required to say anything in your defense, but if you wish to do so, I'm certainly happy to swear you in and hear what you have to say, and the same for any witnesses that you may have. Um, and you can do the witnesses in any order. You don't have to be first. Okay. So I'd like to proceed. Can I call the first witness, Mr. Sure. Brett? Sure. Who is that? Mr. Brett Strath. All right, Mr. Strath. Can you unmute yourself, please? I don't see myself on here to unmute myself. I can't hear you. Try there. the lower left-hand side of your screen. How's that? Yeah. That's it. Okay, perfect. I don't see myself on here, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes yeah. it a little more difficult. Yeah. All right. If you could raise your right hand, Mr. Strath. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give is true, sir? Yes. Okay, thank you. Let me lower your hand. Mr. Gephardt, you can ask Mr. Strath questions and have him answer them, or if you prefer that he just speak in narrative form, that's permissible too. I can ask just a few simple questions. Three you can. Go ahead. Mr. Strath, you were a physical passenger on May 22nd, correct? Yes. When we physically entered that parking lot that day, and we parked the vehicle, how many of the physical signs that Officer MacGyver went through with her exhibits did you physically see and witness? So, Your Honor, I can make this kind of easy. Um, what happened was we basically got out of the car, we took my phone, tried to pay the ticket, it would not go through. We have a screenshot of that. Then we walked to the island, other people were there and they were, they were perplexed too because they couldn't pay it either. Then we went to where she was saying on the beach, there was another big sign there. We saw the sign, tried to call the number and pay that and that wouldn't go through either. And we have a screenshot of that too because we figured something like this might happen. So we did try to pay the ticket we did try to pay the parking, but we just couldn't. There was no, and we have screenshots to prove that we could not pay the, pay the ticket. Two screenshots we have of my phone. Okay. All right, I guess you I guess declined to answer the question, Mr. Gephardt, but that's fine. Any, anything else you wanna ask Mr. Strack? No, other than Mr. Strack, again, when we exited the vehicle and we proceeded to go to where the small people sent what I call the You saw only, which is what I also did, was the small eight and a half by 11 staple piece right. of paper. Right, that is correct. Uh, that is correct, it was a small piece of paper because I think the island was devastated. It was a small piece of paper. And that piece of paper said, or scan the QR to pay, correct? Correct. So from what officer was done, the records of the these monumental sized signs on an island that was just destroyed, you did not view any of them. No, there was there was that piece of paper you're talking about that said scan the QR code. And that's what we did. 
and it wouldn't go through. And we have a screenshot of that showing that we did that. You want to call your next witness? Yes, can we call Mr. Thomas Schwab? Yep. Mr. Schwab, good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um, if you could raise your right hand, Mr. Schwab, and then say out what harm this testimony will have to the state, sir. I do. Okay, thanks. You could lower your hand. Uh, Mr. Gephardt, same thing. You, you can ask a question. Mr. Straff really, in, in no disrespect, but he declined to answer the question and, and did narrative testimony, which is fine. Um, how would you like to proceed with Mr. Schwab? I will make it specific to asking the question and asking Mr. Schwab to not elaborate, but just answer the question that you're suggesting to call them. All right. Mr. Schwab, were you present in the physical vehicle on May 22nd? Yes. When we entered the parking lot that Officer McGriver references, how many physical, permanently installed parking signs did you view when we first parked the car? I don't recall seeing any. When we proceeded to exit the vehicle, traveling by foot over to the bulletin board where we saw other people assembled. Did you only see the small, what I reference, eight and a half by 11 letter size stapled to the bulletin board that said, text to pay, scan the QR to pay. Did you see that sign? Yes. And of all of us that were physically there that day on May 22nd, how many of us were there that attempted to do both of those tasks? Four of us. And when all four of those attempts to both scenarios, text or scan the QR, when we exited the immediate parking lot and we proceeded to the beach, how many of the signage or the signs that Officer McGyver references in the appendix did you physically see? I don't recall seeing any. Judge, I don't have any further questions for Mr. Schwab. Thanks, Mr. Schwab. Appreciate it. Um, you and Mr. Strapp, you're really welcome to go if you wish. You're welcome to stay if you wish. The testimony is entirely up to you. Mr. Gephardt, any other witnesses? I think maybe the third is physically here, but Judge, I uploaded to the portal previous Mr. Beckley's witness affidavit. I saw the affidavits. All right, and if you wish to say anything. Yes, Your Honor, please. You can raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, let's go on the next one. On that day that we entered the island, we made every effort to comply with the signage and the request to pay parking. And I want to reference that there are 38 other municipalities and cities that utilize the application that myself and the three other individuals traveling that week through Florida, it's called Park Mobile. It's one of the largest global apps which eliminates any potential that we didn't see a sign, we didn't have any functionality issues. And to reference that four adults, including myself, saw simply that one kiosk sign and to have an amount of $150 assessed, I think it's excessive. It's almost, you're referencing that, the officer's referencing that there are all of these exhibits. Four competent individuals on a bright sunny day, you know, taking in the fact that that beautiful island was, was damaged severely, didn't see one of them other than what we physically tried to accomplish, which is what we uploaded. And those exhibits, you know, referencing the text, sorry, the service is not available. I referenced when you and I first had that pre that 
I wanted to be a candidate for and I wanted the request from the court to reduce the amount of the fine where, yes, I did park on the island. I am physically responsible and accountable for monies due to the parking authority. I just feel based upon what we are describing from that day, and the devastation that is probably still there, that 150 hours seems excessive. Anything else? No. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone's testimony. Um, however, Mr. Gephardt, I find you guilty, and here's, here's the basis for my decision. First of all, you, you keep referencing the hurricane. The hurricane was eight months prior to your citation. You never asked Officer McGuire when you had the chance when the photographs were taken. It might have helped your testimony, um, but you didn't ask her that. But most importantly, and the thing that, that frankly, sir, really uh, is, is, is the most um, important evidence is that you were aware you had to pay for the parking. You emphasized the signs, yet somehow you knew you had to go to this website and pay for parking, which you failed to do. No. Um, as I said at the very beginning, not paying for parking is not a defense, sir. So respectfully, I oh find you guilty. It's a $190 fine. You have 90 days to pay it. You can pay online at newclerk.org. You can mail a 